Hi everybody, we're going to go over the adjective hyped. Um, hyped is an adjective we use to describe someone, uh, describe the state of being very, very, very excited about something. It could be anything, it could be a three-day weekend, it could be a holiday, um, it could be an appointment with a friend you haven't seen in a long time, but to be hyped is to be very excited. Now, um, we can say, I'm just going to start off first making a sentence with I. I am, I'm, I'm hyped about, or I can say I'm hyped for, or I'm hyped over. Uh, you can use any of those in this sentence, but I'm just going to use about because that, that's just most common. That's the most common word that comes to me. So I'm going to say I'm hyped about Christmas. So Christmas is coming up. I'm very excited about it. So I'm hyped about Christmas. If I want to add emphasis, I can use the I can use intensifiers like mega. Like um, that means just really uh, big time. Um, I'm mega hyped about Christmas. I'm mega hyped about Christmas. Um, or pretty. I'm pretty hyped about Christmas. I'm re really hyped about Christmas, and I'm super hyped about Christmas. So those are a few of the ways that you can use, and you can use the degrees of emphasis if you want to make your statement stronger. Um, other things that you can be hyped over, maybe a party, a new movie, a vacation. Um, so you have plenty of things to be hyped over. Um, now you can also ask people uh, questions, uh, whether they're hyped over something. So I'm just going to ask you, are you, are you hyped about Christmas? Are you hyped about Christmas? Are you excited about Christmas? Um, now let's say a new movie's coming out. And we're really excited. I can ask you, are you hyped? Are you hyped for the new movie? So I'm just going to use for for that one. So are you hyped for the new movie? Now, in addition to this, there's also things that we are just not excited about, right? Um, so in this case, we can use I'm not too, I'm not too, or I'm not overly, you can use, just use not too. So, um, what are we not, what are we not hyped over? That would be, uh, Monday, right? Uh, work on Monday. Uh, I'm not too hyped. I'm not too hyped for work on Monday. I'm not too hyped about work on Monday. Um, I'm not too hyped about the meeting. Um, so those, you know, it's just, there's going to be some things that you just don't care much for. Uh, that, that's a definitely Mondays. Yeah. Work on Monday. People are never hyped for that. So, uh, um, so yes, you can, you can also describe things that you're just not going to be excited about. Um, now that's uh, that's just a few of the ways you can use hype, and you can look at your conversation flow chart and you try to make some of your own sentences, and that will that will conclude this lesson. So thank you for thank you for following along.